What's up everybody, my name is Tony Tarius and we are back with another video of working on small attempts on Blender. That's right, we are back again on Blender. And for this video I'm going to show the current the current updates of my project on Blender that I'm working on of Priscilla from Claymore. Yeah, that's right. We are back. We're still on the Main menu, main menu of the unsaved new project of Blender. So we're going back on files, open recent, and we open this one Claymore Prisla test. All right, look up, look at that, look at that. <laughs> That's right. Now she have the full body from the head to the rest of the body yeah that's right <laughs> I also included the sword that I made out I uh, made a a while prior to the uh, prior to this project and she's and the sword is have has the symbol of Priscilla, similar to the the small piece of clothing for her uniform, which some people would call it the DK or Tushedo garment. For our preferences in on Portuguese, we call it as gola, which is a, a small piece that covers our neck from the t-shirt that's right I finished the head uh, for a long time now, prior to start with the body I still have the original the original save of the project for the head which I could open just for a um, just for a brief moment, all right. And we go open recent, and we go on head. On the original head, she have no texture for her eyes, different from the from the last save we from the last save I I displayed for you. This is the the Bezier's that I made for her head, for her, for the hair. I'm sorry for my my English. <laughs> I hope you don't mind it. Uh, I used the mostly mm, three different modules of Bezier curves and Bezier paths to make the the hair, as you can see in the and the texture the the. The current texture is a placeholder, so no, <laughs> no much, no comment, no rush at the commentaries about it. Oh. And after I finish the the head, I start to make the body, like this one. This is the body, also without the texture. I also included the sword and the head. What I did is I used the save in, initially. Um, the test was the, the I was was the head. Then I saved in different um, in different projects, which I saved this for the head, then for the body, and the body I just decided to work and with with the body and then as I could say now then I start mod then I start modeling with the with the help of my brother and some concepts that I found out from from what I could find well initially the the image back the the image for the background to help to modeling the body was sent to me through 
for the DeviantArt, and I made it for a friend, which goes by the name of Priscilla. <laughs> And I made it on easy paint side. The, um, the lines, then the painting, or the, or the artwork. It's from the, from the, that book, if I'm not mistaken. Or the book, I, sh I think it's on the booklet that came with the DVD. Well, I don't have the DVDs from Claymore, I don't have the manga, unfortunately. I only follow it through the internet. I really wanted just to see the artworks and other things. The, the people of Funimation... No, the Funimation, oh, it's Madhouse. Yes, yes the Madhouse studio, the, the main studio for the animation of Claymore. Funimation is the is the voice acting on North America. Yeah. I, I still remember <laughs> some details <laughs> from what I do in my researches. And this is the, the scene for the camera and the light and this is the body. Ah. I did one which is for Teresa. I, I also took it from, from the Wikipedia. But don't worry, most of things are I do the references on my small book I made in Microsoft Office PowerPoint. Initially, <laughs> when I made the, the breasts, they were a little bit oversized. Or what we call in Brazil Vantajada uh, for busty characters. But don't mind me. It's just the things that I I always that I always say say is on high topics. But then as I, um, as I was working on the the, the body for the character, uh, I knew that Priscilla is not so busty, so I I changed the proportions and size to be looking more identical for what I could match the anime manga style for 3D modeling. I still have the the other concepts, my attempts, my my flaws, my failures, just for future studies. This was my attempt for. For the breasts. Well, no more delays. We go back to the to the main test and uh, to the main to the main save of this amazing character. Well, it's not finished yet. I still I'm still working on the other pieces of armor, especially on the boots. Um, I have to work. I have to make the back seat plate. I have to also remake the sword hook and then finish with the sky here and the cloak or mantle. Which and um, all the Claymore characters, well, Claymore is all, is how the humans call for the warriors of the organization, but they are mostly known as warriors or for other ways than the Silver Die Witches. Which is, yep. Most of the characters have a Kahir attached with a cloak and the sword hook. The sword hook is basically it's to is to is to place the sword tight and avoid of hurting the back their backs. Because sometimes I think it is a little weird when you play World of Warcraft when when you have to carry um, heavy weapons like two-handed sword, two-handed axe or two-handed uh, hammers or war hammers as you prefer and um, battle axes which on World of Warcraft when you 
when you are not on com when you're not in combat, you have to walk all the world with the heavy weapon on your back. And if you apply it on real life, it would give a hell of a pain in your back. And you would get tired for carrying a, a very heavy thing on your backs. As I, that's what I could say. <laughs> well, the texture for the body, uh, well, initially I made two different bodies. One without armor and one with armor. The one with, with armor, uh, my brother William suggested me that for the armor pieces I should make some cuts, especially for the arms and the legs. And let me show you. And here, as you can see now, there is a big cut between the forearm and the wrist. On game concepts, when you work on armor and you have a character that use armor that covers what, for example, your wrists, your forearm, your legs, especially the legs, then where it is just for for demonstration. Uh, it's not going to be saved, but it's just it's for the, the video, all right. Well, as you can see, then as I'm saying, um, when you are working modeling a, a 3D character and then and you want that character to use arm more, an armor, you have to cut some parts of the body, especially like for example the wrist, the legs, the feet, the hands, or the entire arm or the entire body. But as we are working on with Claymore, so the only parts of the body that would be removed are the forearm to the wrist and the leg to the feet. And watching I have so <laughs> and that was freaking weird is and um, you guys have heard Warframe, uh, 3D, uh, 30 person shoot, a uh, shooter of sci fi ninja thematics, or, or genre as you prefer. Um, there's an image that I found, I think it's on Reddit, if I'm not mistaken, that is uh, the Zector Ballas and some parts of his body it's out of their places especially his clothes his hair and <laughs> and his accessories and garments like jewels like jewels uh, <laughs> it was so freaking weird <laughs> well, all right we we press alt h okay um, well, some things when I was working on the armor pieces, pieces, it was very easy, but to adjust with the body sometimes is a little bit. Um, well, it was very well tough, as a, what I could say. Um, the texture where has been where been made and. Mm, on GIMP2, which is one of the programs that I use for texture for the characters and objects, especially the sword. Because most of the things have been made um, for the textures, of course, on GIMP2. I plan to use the Ease Paint side for adding effects, especially for the clot. Special, um, even the even for the shirt 
shirt and the leggings the eyes were also being made on game 2 well I don't know if I uh, once it is finished I may add some things for the, uh, inside of the mouth like teeth the tongue I don't know because when you have to work on animation when you want when you have to make the character speaking you have to add the, the teeth and the mouth and when you're playing a lot of games and other things when you go through the character you can see well what could be uh, the mouth the tongue and the eyes Well, in my opinion, it's looking good. <laughs> or maybe uh, what I could say, awesome. Oh, and this one I was, uh, was tempting to do the the other pieces for the sword hook, but I think I have to remake this one. Um, unfortunately. Well, I don't see it. it is unfortunately because it is a quite it is a challenge when I have to learn things on modeling on Blender because I'm used it to work on 3D mags and on modeling objects or modeling characters and other things. Initially, my first attempt, my first attempts of creating. Um, uh, 3D character where mm -hmm, were a little bit weird though. Especially one I made for my my character Tonitorius and one for a villager on kinda mix of cartoon and Minecraft style. Kinda, but I think I have in the future uh, when I plan to revisit my my old save files on Unity to remake some things, especially texture and and remodeling characters for my my s small projects of where I'm working on Unity. And the moment I finish the rigging, rigging is an, for example, and every living character have has exkeleton, exkeleton, and and the exkeleton for the rigging, especially on 3ds Max, 3ds Maya, 3, Blender, um, you have to add. And position every bone for the character, especially on the head, the neck, the torso, the hips, the legs, the arms, the fingers, and the tooth. And the tooth. Oh no, that is correct. Because there are things on English that I I have to re to practice more. Spokenly, I don't know on my speaking. <sighs> and after you add the bone for the character, you have to adjust on. I don't know if this is here or this is here, here. I don't know. I have to. I have to go back again on. Work on rigging and on other things, and after you adjust the body with the skeleton for the rigging, you have to adjust the position of what part of the body will receive more of that will be more at aligned with the with the bone in order to avoid certain type you know, some uh, certain types of distortions. 
and body twisting and other things that that most 3D artists have to deal with. Well, I hope you understand what I'm saying. And after making the rigging, well, I hope this module can be attached on attached or imported to Unity. Well, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I'll be adding on my Google Eyes on on Google, sorry, oh, because I I usually mix Portuguese with English because I'm a Brazilian. But I do speak English and do understand things in English. Well, as I'm saying, uh, I hope I hope you enjoyed this video. I I plan to add this on my Google Plus. Um, probably share uh, share the link of this video on DeviantArt. All right. Well, usually I don't share too much on my YouTube because of some things. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed. I and I'll be back with another one. All right. See you.